Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're doing a full face of drugstore makeup. A lot of these are new products that I saw trending on TikTok. Most of the times I try the trending TikTok makeup, the viral products. They're amazing. So I'm really excited to try out some of these products today. If you want to see the look, the process, keep on watching. Today we're going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. I'm just going to brush my hair up. I have so many new products to play with today. I'm excited. I took several trips to the drugstore. I went to Walmart, Target, everywhere. All the places to find new products to try out and share with you guys. I just wanted to find some new products. This brow pencil is not new, but I didn't really see anything new that I thought I would like. I saw a lot of the marker, the felt tip marker brow pencil. I saw some of those, but I am going to try something that is new from e.l.f. for my brows as well. So once I do this step, then I'll show you guys the e.l.f. product. So I'm going to take the other end and just brush my hair up once again and just fluff it out a bit. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. This is called the Brow Lift and it's similar to like the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow product. Um, that's like this, like a clear brow gel. So I'm going to use this and just comb it through. Some of this product turned white. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure. Maybe I left it unopened. Like, I don't know. Maybe I left it open by accident. Did I just say unopen? <laughs> what? Maybe I left it open. For primer today, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Sea Bright Putty Primer. This is another version. This is the newest version of the Elf Putty Primer. This version incorporates vitamin C, which I'm excited about because I, I'm definitely excited about. I like when makeup brands mix in skincare because it's like a two for one. And vitamin C is something that I like to use every morning. So this is actually perfect because you would use primer you know, in the morning when you're applying your makeup. So this is like a nice way to incorporate some vitamin C into your routine. Although it's brightening, it's not like a shiny product. It looks really nice and natural on my skin. So I definitely love that. I definitely love how like natural it looks, not too shiny, not too dewy, not too glowy because um, you know, I have a natural glow. <laughs> so we're going to go in with our foundation. Today I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Nude. True Match Nude from L'Oreal. I have used this in the past. I really, really love this product. It's definitely amazing. So I'm going to use this one. I'm in the shade 8.5 to 9.5 medium deep in this product. So shake it up. I'm just going to start blending. And then we're going to use concealer. For today's concealer, I'm going to use the NYX Bear With Me. The NYX Bear With Me concealer. I've been seeing this all over TikTok. It's definitely a trend in make uh, makeup product. It's definitely trending on TikTok, this makeup product from NYX. So I got the shade... Um, I don't know what shade I got. I got shade 10, I think, S10. So let's try it out. I don't know if this is the right shade, but I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I should have gone a little bit lighter because I do like a brighter under eye, but wait a minute. This is amazing. <laughs> wait a minute. This is not what I was expecting. I thought I saw the word serum in here and I thought it was gonna be like liquidy this is a nice like medium full coverage concealer what mm. okay i definitely want to get another shade because this is not a shade i would use for concealer but girl 
I love the consistency of this. I love the coverage. Was not expecting that. If I'm being honest with you, I wasn't expecting to like this. I was kind of like, I'll try it, but I don't, I'm probably not gonna like it. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Points for me. We're gonna set with the Elf uh, setting powder. Setting powder is a product that I feel like the drugstore brands they don't really make too many setting powders. I need more drugstore setting powders. You know, like I feel like we. Are lacking. This powder is really good. Every time I use it, I remember like, oh my gosh, this is such a good powder in terms of like how it looks and how it wears. I was gonna use the e.l.f. putty bronzer, but I decided that I'm gonna do just powder bronzer today just to keep it a little bit more um, natural, a little more simple. So I'm gonna use a powder bronzer. I went to go look for my L'Oreal bronzer, but I didn't find it. So today we're gonna use this bronzer palette from Black Radiance. This is one of the OG drugstore bronzers that worked for women of color. So I'm gonna use the deepest shade here. This is number this is medium, this is the medium to dark one, so I'm taking the contour shade, I'm going to use that as my bronzer, I guess. <laughs> really nice. Today we're going to use this little palette from Maybelline, it's called the Shade, Br shade Bricks, Shade Blocks. Wow. So these are the shade blocks. They come in a variety of shades, but this one has a green and then this like silvery champagne color. I don't plan on doing anything too complicated. I'm just going to take the green shade and run that in my crease. I really wish this came with a mirror, but it didn't. So we're just going to blend this green color. The color green goes really well with brown, so green and brown skin, brown eyes is always a vibe. I like this. I'm trying to decide if I want to use the champagne color. I guess like a silvery color actually. It's not really champagne. I think it's like a silver. I think this is what it looks like. It's almost iridescent. It's even like got an iridescent feel to it. I don't know if I want to use this or oh it's like a green iridescent. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to just keep it simple like this. I don't know. I'm gonna use a little bit. This is pretty. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. I was thinking like this was champagne, but it's not. This is a nice color. Wow. Oh, snap a doodle. <laughs> I sound like an old person. Snap-a-doodle? What is a snap-a-doodle? Y'all hear that? 
Do y'all hear that? My kids stomping on the floor upstairs. I'm taking more of the green and just going over it a little bit. I like this. I really, really like this. Okay, I want to show you guys the other shade just so you can see what it looks like. Oh, this one is definitely like a matte color. Like a matte, like white, creamy color. I wouldn't really use it, but this is pretty. This is pretty. Okay, so for mascara, I'm going to do some. I'm going to use this mascara I got. This um, Maybelline mascara. I saw this on TikTok as well. This is a trending TikTok product. It's supposed to be really, really good according to TikTok. TikTok said this mascara is the best, okay? <laughs> I did try to look for some trending TikTok makeup. So look at this packaging. It has like three dimensional, like the words pop up. Like how cool is that? I'm to go grab a mirror so I can my lashes I cannot see oh, this is really nice already I can tell I do wish the wand was like like stiff instead of like so flexible because it's one of those like flexible bendy wands and I do like I do prefer a more stiff one, so it's not a big deal, I guess, but it's usually something I notice with drugs. So mascaras, a lot of times they have this like bendy wand like this. And a lot of times with high-end mascaras, I don't find that. I don't know. Maybe it's just the ones I pick out, but What I will say is this mascara is pretty good. Wow. I think this mascara is really nice, you guys. I definitely think it adds a lot of drama. I definitely think it adds a lot of dimension, length, and volume to my lashes. So, and it's really black, super black. I think I got the one that said like really, really black. I got the cosmic I got the cosmic black one so this one comes in pink as well and y'all know how much I love pink but this one said cosmic black so I felt like it was the blackest black so I went with this one and I think it also said nude so I was like let's take this one but it looks really good so I'm gonna do my bottom lashes so for my bottom lashes I'm gonna first use this new liner from NYX this is the epic smoke liner this is what it looks like here I wanted to try this because the smoky eye trend is very big right now, the grudgy trend. So I figured this would be a great product for that. So this one is in a black color. I'm going to put it on my bottom lashes to smoke it out. So on one end is a brush and on the other end, on the other end is the actual, so on the other end is the eyeliner part. So you have a two sided product, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna take this other side. Wait. I wish they had made this into a real, like a regular brush. One of the little short shader brushes. That would have been perfect for this product. I do like the eyeliner though, it glides on really easy. I guess this is doing a good job at making it smudgy and not like as defined. 
so hmm, I take that back I guess for the grudgy look this brush is okay like it's definitely giving it more of a grudgy look the other brushes make it a little bit more precise and I guess that's not really the look you're going for if you're doing grudge so this is really good for that add in some mascara to my bottom lashes so i am here for this eye look i am definitely feeling this eye look i'm here for it so next we're going to do some face powder i actually have two powders they're both the fresh what fresh wear powder from l'oreal so i have two shades one for my under eye and one for my entire face so i'm going to use both of these shades one is hazelnut and this one is copper for my face the yeah, also copper first i'm taking a brush for copper and i'm just gonna apply this on my face i do really like this powder it's another like viral tiktok product that i definitely love and i've had this one for quite a while it's really really good it's basically blending everything together with this powder the other powder this is in the shade hazelnut it's lighter I'm gonna use this under my eye and I'm gonna use a beauty sponge with this one. So we're just gonna place this under my eye only. The places where I wanna highlight basically. I am gonna bring it under my eye. taking this brush again and blending the two together so it doesn't look so crazy so I just had to go change the battery because it was like battery exhausted <laughs> I always think it's hilarious when the camera say that like battery exhausted girl like anyways I'm gonna do this liner this is from the lip bar available at Target one is in the shade straight living i'm pretty sure this was yeah straight living and then i'm gonna use a new lip product so this is from nyx it's the smooth whip smooth whip lip product i found this one at target i want to say this one is in the shade faux fur faux fur so ooh, this smells good mm, this color is really nice Next with this color though so this is the smooth whip matte lip cream and this is new from NYX I've never seen it before and I kind of want to leave it just like this as it also pick up this lip gloss from L'Oreal this one is in Rose Harmony and it's kind of like a and it's a gloss so I was thinking I could add a little bit to here I don't know if they would necessarily go together though so maybe I shouldn't but maybe a little not bad yeah, I think a little drop just to give it a little bit of shine um, I definitely do love this lip color from NYX the lighting may be a little different because I'm coming back on to show you guys a blush so this is the blush I'm gonna use today from Woma and it is in the color in real it's in the color flawless IRL in real life this is it here I actually forgot to show you guys this and as I was sitting in front of my makeup I noticed it so I have a nice amount of little sparkles too much not anything that's gonna like scare you but it definitely has a little oh this is pretty oh it's a pretty color you guys you see that it's so pretty this blush is everything Okay, I love this blush. This blush is so pretty. I'm just gonna go over that with my powder brush, like right here, to blend it all out. So that is the look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what your favorite product I tried on today was. Also, let me know any things that you think I should pick up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.